Okay, when you're cooking up a storm in the kitchen, you are essentially working in a science laboratory as we are today. And the Dancing Mad Scientist is here with some with some experiments. And we'll let you just, we'll just follow your lead here. Thanks, Rob. It's, it's great to be back. So today we're sharing some fun experiments viewers can do at home with their kids mm -hmm. using only products from their kitchen. And so we're going to start by using baking soda, vinegar, a large container, and some candles. Okay. And now a lot of people know that when you mix baking soda and vinegar, you got to have this fizzing reaction. Yeah. And that, that's pretty classic. We're going to take that to the next level. Okay. Because what's actually produced in here is carbon dioxide gas. It's the same gas that's in some fire extinguishers and it's odorless and colorless. Mm -hmm. colorless. So you can imagine that this container is filled to the brim with gas, carbon dioxide gas. Okay. I'm going to prove that to you by taking the invisible gas here and pouring it onto these candles. And what will happen is the gas sinks, displaces the oxygen, oh, and the candles go out one by one because the gas sinks. Oh, is that interesting? Pretty neat, right? That is very cool. Yeah, so it's just a neat way that we can learn about gas density right mm -hmm. from your kitchen. So the Manek experiment is, uh, it's, my, it's one of my favorite ones from my childhood. And basically, all you need is an alu empty aluminum soda can, okay. a bowl of ice cold water, mm -hmm. and an electric heater. You don't want to use a microwave for this one, because okay. aluminum microwave is not they good. Don't, they don't mix. Anyway, put two tablespoons of water in the soda can, and mm -hmm. I'm boiling that for about 60 seconds. And then all we do is we take our, our fancy tongs here, made of forks, and we flip it over into the cold water really quickly. So I got two cans, I'm gonna need your help. Okay. I guess I'll just jump over here. Okay. When do all we right. flip? We gotta that do it quickly. Hot. Ready? In three, just submerge it all the way. Three, two, one. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Exciting every yeah. time. It just You're probably a the blast can. in the family kitchen. Oh my, now why does that happen now, like The way that? that works is the steam inside really quickly cools and condenses, mm -hmm. and that creates a low pressure inside, and the atmosphere actually crushes the can from the outside. So we're learning about phase changes mm -hmm. and trying to share with our audience some fun experiments to do uh, at home, of course, supervised by a parent, but learning some, some science in the kitchen. Now, you're going, to be, you're going to be taking this on the road. You're going to be touring, Absolutely. Right? I, I do um, activities like this for kids in an educational science show, mm -hmm. and I'm actually touring the country starting in May, thanks to a sponsorship from Photodyne, a Wisconsin-based science company. And we're actually starting right here in Wisconsin in May, so you can log on to www dot dancing mad scientist dot com to bring the show to your school excellent and you can see stuff like this very good thank you very much today thanks so much for having me always great to be here good luck on that tour too. appreciate it all right we'll take a break we'll be right back crush some cans